What's up guys, Hong, OG Fitness. All right, let's uh, get into it. Uh, this is actually a highlighted response video, right? So what that means is that like I made a video, it was called Kata Makes You Better at Shi'ai in Judo. And then from there, I one of the guys in the community um, you know, posted a, a comment, a slash response that I found so good and, and interesting. I figure I'd make a part two of this video. I find deserve to be highlighted in a video. And yeah, Kata makes you better at Shi'ai in Judo. That was video number one. This is part two. Kevion Rogers, this is his comment. Uh, Kata allows a minimum standard of knowledge and forces a person to do motions they probably won't do otherwise. For instance, Ashigarami. Ashi garami, ashi is foot, garami means entanglement. So essentially like leg lockings, right? So by doing katas, it does force you to do things that you never usually practice. If you're learning a martial art, it's not just about picking up one or two things here and then learning how to fight. Having a deeper understanding of the art and technique, it's gonna translate very well in Shi'ai, but it's also gonna translate into whatever other martial arts you do. So if you understand movement from one martial art, it's gonna carry over to a lot of other fighting martial arts also. You best believe that these samurais back in the days, they knew what they were doing. I mean, it was all feudal Japan, like their, their lives were on the line. And uh, you know, they had to develop a system of fighting that really worked and Japanese are super refined when it comes to that. Even their culture as, as a whole is everything is super. And of course you have to put it into context, right? Of warfare at that time, uh, you know, with swords and everything and, 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 and whatnot, you know? And because a lot of times back in those days, uh, most people had weapons, like walk around with weapons, like knives, swords, you know? A lot of the techniques sometimes you look at them and it's like, it's not applicable to, to MMA, for example. You're not just doing something because somebody showed it to you, you understand it. So you could actually uh, modify it or, 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 or tie things together more properly. I couldn't consistently do uki uh, nage. Uki nage is like these um, type of um, floating type of fro froze, right? For those of you guys who are like really into judo, you understand. For those of you guys who don't, just type it in into Google and you, you'll see. Some froze are just easier to take than others mainly because of the speed uh, that it requires, mainly sometimes because of the height, uh, maybe because of the spin that you end up doing in the air. Some of them you spin a little bit more. Some of them you go like, you do like practically a 180, you know? Some of them you do like uh, more than that. Some of them 360, kind of a counter where you grab the leg and then you actually flip the guy and he does that. He actually does a free, a 360, I believe. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I just want to highlight uh, uh, Kevion Rogers um, comment, right? response to one of my videos. Uh, so thank you, Kevion. And uh, keep, uh, guys, keep it coming. If you guys have uh, comments, uh, questions, whatever, you know, put it down below and then we could just talk about it, make videos. And uh, yeah, this is something that I really enjoy doing. And it's uh, the more I do it, the more, uh, the funner it gets. And uh, yeah, so that's it for now. So that's it guys. See you in the next one. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms, and you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them, and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.